from Bimus Bekasi and from Business Hotel Management major. My name is Nicholas Joel. My name is Shira Finaliora. My name is Stefanus Natanella Garia. Now we're going to demonstrate about the housekeeping cleaning in public area. Please, Please enjoy. enjoy. So now we're going to clean the wall and I will explain the equipment that we will use. So we have two buckets. One is blue and one is red. This one is for the water and this one is for the water and chemicals. And also we will, we will use the chemical. This is the super multi-purpose cleaner. We will use this. And then we will have two clothes. This one is for the dry and this one for the wet. And then floor cloth. Uh, this is used to prevent the water from going down the floor. And we, have, we will have two sponge. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the multi-purpose cleaner chemical into the red pail filled to, with water. Then we're gonna put the floor cloth in front of the wall to prevent water from dripping. First take your sponge from the red pail and start scrubbing the wall. If you find any stain on the wall, you can clean it off using the green side of the sponge. Then, we put the sponge from the blue pail. We rinse the wall. After we rinse the wall, now we take the wet cloth and dry cloth. Wet cloth go first, then followed by the dry cloth. And we're done! Next, we're going to use two dry cloth and one wet cloth. Two sponges. One furniture polish, and the last one is multi purpose cleaner chemical. First, take the sponge from the red belt filled with MPC and start wiping the table. And when it's done, take the sponge from the blue pail and start to rinse the table. After the table is rinsed, take the wet cloth and the dry cloth. And start wiping wipe the table with the white cloth and follow with the dry cloth. So we take the another dry cloth for the furniture polish then we scrub it make sure it's not too oily okay and then we flip over and then now we start polishing the furniture don't forget to follow the wood texture Make sure you polish the furniture until it shine and clean.
here we have double bucket for glass cleaning in the washer in the wiper and then two plug plug chamois and then we have wet plug here and then we have the expansion pole and here we use glass cleaner First, we're going to put the floor cloth in front of the glass to prevent water from dripping to the floor. Then, we take the window washer and put it into the double bucket filled with glass cleaner chemical and water solution. Make sure to wring the window washer so it doesn't get too wet. Then we take the window washer to start washing the glasses surface and use the extension pole to reach the top side of the window. Then if you can reach the window surface without the pole, you can detach the window washer from the pole. Then we take the window wiper to start wiping off the excess water on the glasses surface and use the extension pole to reach the top side of the window. Use a wet cloth to wipe off the water from the window wiper. Then if you can reach the window service without the pole, you can detach the window wiper from the pole. <whistles> Lastly, use the chamois wheels to make sure all water is cleaned. This is for the floor cleaning equipment. Here we have a broom and a duster. And then we have a mop and a heavy duty pail. And don't forget, we also have the chemical, it's a super multi purpose cleaner. To clean the floor, first we should use the broom and duster to remove any dirt and dishes. Then prepare the heavy duty pail and the mop. Before you start mopping, don't forget to put the caution wet floor to prevent accidents. Dip your mop in the bucket. Then prepare the heavy duty pail and the mop. Don't forget to put the caution wet floor sign to prevent accidents. And dip your mop in the red pail filled with multi-purpose cleaner and water solution. 
and ring it out with a ringer. The mop should be damp, not sopping wet. Too much water dripping from the mop can damage a floor and dramatically extends the drying time. Then begin mopping the floor, working from one end to the other, and moving backwards so you are always standing on an unmopped area to prevent tracking. Then dip the mop to the blue pail filled with clean water and don't forget to move the ringer to the blue pail side. Dunk the mop up and down a few times, then ring out to remove as much as dirty water from the mop head as possible. Then continue to mop the floor until it's all finished. Thank you for watching!